tap into Lex Joy. You've got Yinka with you, and I am joined by Khalid. Hello. What's up? Come on, make you? some noise. Make some noise. <laughs> there we go. I'm feeling the love. <laughs> Welcome to London. Thank you. I saw your um, sassy, sassy photos on Twitter. I've been stalking you oh, a little bit. <laughs> and I, I love the sidekick that you uh, did. Yeah. I feel like I was just so excited to just be here. You know, I mean, I, I wish I could spend way more time overseas. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, like I tell, I literally tell my best friend, I'm like, yo, take this picture. I'm going to, I'm going to take it. <laughs> and, and I did it. I went for it. I'm pretty sure everybody thought I was an idiot, but. No, but it doesn't matter. You got the shot. So like, who cares? Yeah. I'm like, I'm, when, you, when you get the shot, who, who really cares about that? So. You know, like, are you one of those people who like walk down the road sort of talking to yourself? On Snapchat, because I always get a little bit awkward. You know, if you're trying to do a cheeky snap and then commuters are looking Actually, at you. Actually, I am. A, I am a walk Snapchatter. That's, oh. that's all I do is just walk in <laughs> Snapchat. Um, I feel I feel way worse for my friends who have to deal with me while I'm walking in Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like veering you away from people. And yeah, because they're they're like they're walking. They're like, uh, he has his <laughs> camera out. He's recording me in public. Nah, I'm scared of what I'm gonna say. Right, yeah. But it's always fun. So is this your first time in london no this is actually gonna be my third okay time. okay do you enjoy it here i do um it's not as cold right now no it's you just... are very lucky because it was freezing last week this oh, time last week no scarf way. weather no way yeah man yesterday was hot yeah yesterday it was hot was for right. london it yeah was hot. yeah which i mean i liked today it's a, it's a chill day sweater weather you know yeah. i'm feeling it i feel like you're weather appropriate as well oh thank you <laughs> I, I bought this just for London, actually. Oh, well, thank you, thank you for dressing to impress. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so you're originally from Texas. So actually, I lived in Germany for six yes, years. Yes, yes, you did. Yep. Um, I moved to New York. I lived there for four, and I lived in Texas for around almost going on three years. And I feel like that's kind of the place where when I moved there, I kind of found myself as an artist. And so I, I love, I love to to say that I'm from there. I love to take that, that not necessarily that ownership, but just you know, just taking that hey look i'm from el paso texas because not too many artists are from el paso no, texas no. yeah so I, I love texas so is it safe to say that's where like the musical you was born yes definitely that's where the musical side of me was born i feel like i i loved singing and i was gonna go to school for singing but i was always gonna do it for other people like i was gonna okay. sing other people's songs but once I had moved to Texas and I had went through, you know, heartbreak and just loneliness and all this type of stuff, it just allowed me to just find this creative in me. Yeah. And I started writing all this music and that wouldn't have happened if I didn't move to Texas. So what is it about there that sort of inspires you so much? I feel like in the city of El Paso, it's just so secluded away from everything. There wasn't really a lot of distractions for me until I began to meet other people. But, <laughs> Those but, people. Right, but but I was super lonely at first, and I felt like loneliness, once you kind of accept it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I feel like I do a lot of good stuff alone. I find a lot of creativity when I'm by myself. And so I, I had a lot of free time. It was the beginning of my senior year, didn't really talk to anybody didn't know anybody but I knew myself so I just started writing all this music and once I had presented it to the world that's when I feel like everything definitely changed for me I hope this doesn't sound condescending but you are so mature for somebody and you've done so much oh, thank for you. someone who who's still in, like, in their teens do you yeah. know what I mean? like, it's, it's actually mental I'm they're here and I feel like I'm talking to my uncle uh, and you're like no 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 I'm your nephew like, right 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 <laughs> so has, has life changed quite quickly for you definitely has changed very fast um, just compared to around two years ago when I had first started making music to now, it's just, I've grown up a lot. Yeah. My mind frame around a lot of things have changed. The way that I even sing sometimes changes a little bit. And the way that I appreciate the people who I'm around changed a lot. I started finding just all this just pro-positivity and pro-love. When I started making music, I became a lot happier than when I was singing other people's songs. And I feel like that's because all of those emotions, all of those hardships, all of those times, I just throw it into the song. I'm like, you know what? Once I get the song out of me, I get all the bad energy out of me and I get to recharge and focus on some other stuff. So, I mean, I feel like I'm maturing at an alarming rate. I feel like I'm 28 right now. <laughs> I'm only 19 years old. So <laughs> it's definitely crazy. But do you do you sometimes worry that you're missing out on like the high school, the graduating, mm. the because you're just flying? Right. I actually did 
feel that once I had a college show and I'm walking around the campus, I'm like, ah, oh, I wish I could walk around as if I wasn't me right now. Yeah. You know, I wish I could feel that energy. All of my friends are in college. So they're all enjoying themselves. They're all having fun. They're all going to all these parties. And I'm like, uh, I'm just, you know, at home. I got a trip. I got a <laughs> show tomorrow. You know, I'm just chilling <laughs> out. Or, oh, I'm just at the studio, which is, so, there, there's great things that are happening. But I feel like just the lack of just, teen yeah. <laughs> you know it's kind of there it's definitely there so what i try to do is i try to incorporate my friends within a lot of the stuff i do i brought my best friend with me today you know um and i'm bringing my best friends four of them on tour with me when oh, i go that's on good. the american that's good. teen tour that's good. yeah because i i definitely want to have that energy around me and just to remind myself that even though you're doing things that aren't necessarily kid like you're still a kid for one more year. Yeah, yeah at least. One more <laughs> at year. Least at least one more year. <laughs> and so I definitely want to just take advantage of that and just, just keep youth within me forever. And you released your um, debut album yeah. in March. Yes. And it's very good. Thank you. It's really good. Like, <laughs> so, where, what's the, because it's American Team. Mm -hmm. So, what's the story of that? Is it just that sort of about you and, and your experiences? I feel like it was definitely a time capsule for me and it was really about all the experiences that not only I went through around the last two, three, even four years through my whole high school experience, but my friends' experiences as well. We all went through a lot of problems, a lot of problems within growing up and finding ourselves. And yeah. I felt like the whole message behind it was a story and I didn't even necessarily find out that everything correlated until the end of the album. I'm like, this is literally my life i'm like all of these songs i wrote for one reason and that's because i was going through a heartbreak i was finding love i was losing that love i found again yeah and i was i was you know i was reborn you know within all of the music that i was creating at the time within location you know all this different stuff and i felt like having that documented i'm always going to look back and be like oh, that's how it was to be 18. Yeah, at that time. Like, <laughs> at that, yeah, yeah, at yeah, that yeah. time for me. And I I really love how, I mean, even in certain songs, you can hear my friends in the background. Yeah, I noticed that as well, actually. I was like, this is quite yeah. sassy. Yeah, and I'm just, I just love incorporating everything in what I do. And I feel like that that is definitely just a mark for me. And I feel like the next projects are definitely going to show way more progression. You know, you've been sort of a lichen to so many different people and you speak openly about you know your inspirations and yeah. stuff which i think is it's is really good because especially like nowadays yeah right. everyone is so sort of like wanting to be unique and like mm -hmm. no i invented this like right. what what do you mean this high top this is my high top do you, <laughs> right, know, do you right. know what i mean whereas yeah. you're like no like i love frank ocean i love erica badu oh, i yeah. love so do they have they inspired this this, this body of work? So definitely a lot of my inspirations have been displayed through the body of work within American Teen. I mean, there's so many, you can just hear just the 80s synthesizers and just all these just different stuff within the record. And I mean, songwriting techniques that I listened to that I loved when I was growing up, um, just, I really wanted to just display all of that through the album. Like I never want to take complete ownership. I'm like, you know what? I want to give back to the influences that, you know, inspired me to even do this because if it wasn't for them, if I didn't grow up listening to them, I probably wouldn't have even done this as a job. And so I do love artists like James Blake, Frank Ocean, Fleet Foxes, Father John Misty, Sam Smith, Erica Badu, Brandy, all these just different eclectic people. And I feel like all of that just, all of those differences within just the, the boundaries of music as a whole created me. And so some people might listen to it and they're like, mm, I hear so-and-so in this. I'm like, that's completely fine that you hear so-and-so in this because I'm growing up and I'm still I'm still looking for who I am as an individual. Yeah. So I feel like just the my form of artistry is definitely going to change in the future. I'm only I'm only 19 and this is... You're a bubba. Yeah, and this is my first <laughs> album, you know? And so I'm so, I mean, so excited people just gained such a liking to the album so far because I know that the next project is going to be way better so one of the singles taken um from your debut album is location yeah and have you heard adele's hometown i haven't it, all right right when you leave here yeah you have to listen to it because it doesn't sound like um location at all right. but it's the same kind of vibe mm -hmm. it's it's so uncanny when i first heard it i thought oh my god he's channeling adele there <laughs> and you've got there's various remixes of this as well oh, so, yeah. so how did that song come about so 
location had came about. It was the middle of my senior year. I had just got back from Atlanta. I had recorded I had recorded the chorus. And I'm like, you know what? I want to finish this song. Should I or should I not? So I took it to the studio. This was around the time that I'm writing a lot of other songs in the album. Mm-hmm. And I just invited my whole, all of my friends to the, to the studio. I invited my mom to the studio. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to finish this record, I'm going to do it in front of them. Yeah. And so I finished the whole record. It was, yeah, it was around my senior prom. I ended up releasing it. Like, I'm like, you know what? Like, I don't want to hold on on this record. Management is telling me I should. I'm like, no. I put it on SoundCloud. And Naughty. Yeah. And <laughs> then it just, whoa, it just spiked up. And <laughs> it's so crazy just watching the record and then walking around school and just hearing people listen to the record and tell me that they, that's what, that's what I loved. I was like, oh, the people in my school like it. The people in my city like it. And then it started to turn into a, oh, the people in this city like it yeah. or this country like yeah, it. Yeah, this <laughs> continent. Like yeah, it. yeah. And so, oh, it's just so insane. That record has just gone so up and I'm so blessed to even have even recorded that record. You are going to be going on tour very shortly. Yes. Are you bricking it? I am so excited. It's going to be so much fun. Like, just all of, I feel like all of my ideas are just going to come to life. Yeah. Like, all of my, all of the, everything that I was thinking, just about the, just about the album and all that, are just going to be displayed throughout just the tour, and like I, I'm bringing my friends. I mean, what's not more to love about? I having, think that's the best thing. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, what's not more to love about having people that I love around me every day? Eh, actually, <laughs> actually, there might be a lot of arguments. You know, there might be a lot of. But look, I mean, I, I love that stuff. So I, I'm super excited for it. <laughs> And you're supporting Lord as well. Yes. How did that come about? Lord is awesome. I met her in New York City. She's so dope. Her 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 energy is dope. And when I met her, I pretty much told her I was like, you know what? Like you're such a big influence on me creatively. Mm-hmm. Like, and then she tells me she's like, you're in, in the same position that I was, you know, two to three years ago, which was crazy to hear. I'm like. Lord is telling me that like, I'm in the same position as her. Like my brain is just like going all over the place right now. But she's just super dope. She just gives off so much energy and just I'm so honored to be going on tour with her and to be opening up for her because it's just gonna be a lot of just dancing, a lot of fun, <laughs> you know, and it's a lot of good music. I'm so excited to just hear her project. Like, oh, she's just she's an amazing individual, and this is just, this is definitely gonna be a growing process for me because now, like, I'm I'm going from touring in America, straight to touring in Europe, yeah. and going to places that I've never even been before. Like, we're going to Milan. Like, I've never even been to. Milan. It's very nice there. Yeah, I've You're never gonna been. like it. So you're I'm, gonna take another one of those pictures. Oh yeah, these, the, are, your, these are your legs. Yeah, my legs are definitely gonna cl- gonna click in there. <laughs> definitely, I'm so excited for it, and I just can't. I can't wait to to watch probably one of my favorite shows every night, which is hers. Yes, I, I can't wait to see that every night. So, how is it for you, like being a fan of people, and now you get into meet so many people? How do you stop yourself from just like fanning out? Because sometimes when I meet someone. Hello. But you know, like, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I want a selfie. Do you know, right. how, do you, how do you stop yourself from, from doing that? I feel like I just began to accept that certain people are probably doing that to me. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like just my mind frame definitely changed. And I in my head, I'm like, oh, like, so giddy. But I'm like, you know, what's up? Hello. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? And then I'll probably I'll probably go into my car and be like, oh my god, I just met so and so. Texting my friends, going all crazy, like, oh, I just met so and so. But then the cool part of that is just on just the mutual respect and love for music, we end up gaining a friendship from it, which is so awesome. Like, I I've, I've become friends or became became friends with some of my biggest influences, you know. And they're talking to me, telling me that they're they love what I do, which is so awesome. It's just crazy. Like one of my friends, Xavier Omar, he's super awesome. I listened to him all throughout high school. And now he's listening to, to my music and just telling me like, you're a monster. I'm just like, no. Like, <laughs> I know that, right? <laughs> right. I'm like, okay, thank you, man. But it's, it's just so crazy. It's insane. So we are in, in London. Yeah. And the UK music scene is like thriving at the mm-hmm. moment. Are you going to be making any music in the studio, anything while you're here? Not this trip, but I feel like I will definitely come back because I just, 
there's so many different forms of creativity out here. Like, I've gotten introduced to a lot of music that I never even knew, like grime. Like, oh, it's a vibe. It is definitely yeah. a vibe. <laughs> I never really knew it until I came to London the last time they put me on. I'm like, yo, this is this is definitely <laughs> this is crazy. And I feel like I would love to just kind of just expand, especially there's like like there's so many remixes of location i mean there's the london remix mm -hmm. little sims, little yes, sims. Yes, yes she's so awesome mm -hmm. and it's just like i want to do more than that like i actually want to do a song like yeah, not necessarily yeah. a remix so i feel like that's definitely coming up in the future do you know yeah i feel a little bit jealous of you it's kind of like you know when you watch a movie mm -hmm. and then you show it to your friends and you're like oh i wish i was watching this for the first time because it's right. so good so when it comes to grime you've got so much to to get into and that I'm like, I've oh, I wish I could hear that for the first time. <laughs> like, you're going to be there just with your headphones on, oh, vibing yeah. out. Like, I still I still am, like, dabbling just with all this just different stuff. And I'm, I'm so excited to just get way more involved, way more involved with music because I'm I'm super new, you know? Like, my, my career hasn't been here forever yet. Yeah. And so I feel like with the growth of my career will definitely be the growth of my expression, will definitely be the growth of my ears when it comes to music. And so I love those first moments. Those first moments are the moments that kind of, they, they change and they craft your, your life forever. Yeah. So I, I, I love things like that. And we are going to play uh, Rollin, which is a song that you've got yes. with Calvin Harris yes. and with Future as well. Uh, how, before we get into it, how did this come about? So Did someone just ring you and like, oh, do you want to do, do, do the song? Actually, Calvin had hit me and we were talking through text. Okay, and okay. He invited me to his crib and oh so I pulled up. Look, <laughs> he's trying not to smile. He's like, yeah, he hit me. Just text, nah, you know, like Calvin Harris. I was Harris. freaking out. <laughs> I was definitely freaking out. I was going crazy because I'm like, you know what? Like, one of my favorite songs in life is from Calvin Harris. And it's a song that I used to sing was it sixth grade? My best friend's here. She can help me. Definitely, I think it was sixth, sixth grade. Bounce. She's not in. She's not in. Yeah. It was Bounce. We used to walk what, down the, the street. What's the one with Dizzy Rascal? Huh? Is, it, that's, is that the one with Dizzy Rascal? No? No. No. Oh, it's right. with Khalees, I think. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a good tune, actually. Yeah. So, we're literally walking to middle school, like, <laughs> listening to this song, like, on our iPad <laughs> Nanos and stuff, you know? <laughs> and, like, that's a memory that I'll always remember forever. And then he contacts me, and I'm like no way you know and i get to create another song that someone who's probably my age then probably a little older who knows is gonna listen to and be like this is one of the li lifelong memories that i'm gonna have with this record so i thought it was just super awesome he was so nice um and i've i've learned a lot from him and i made a record that i'm in love with and futures on it so it's just like what what else can't you love about that record yeah. <laughs> for me you know? yeah no no you're right definitely yeah. <laughs> and so i that record is just so amazing calvin's dope i'm just so appreciative for that <laughs> okay so we are gonna play i've got one more question to yeah. ask you though how many times yeah have you been mistaken for dj khaled like on twitter still still to this still day still to this day is it annoying it i mean it is what it is. I guess when your name's just so similar to somebody else, but pronounced a different way, yeah. people only kind of people kind of they perceive what they what they read. Mm, and like it's phonetics. Like, yeah, and so when you're reading Twitter and you see Khaled, no, oh, DJ, yeah, yeah, you're like DJ. And so <laughs> I, I see a lot of. I mean, a lot of fans discover me. And they're like, I thought you were this person for so long, and you're not. <laughs> so it's awesome. I mean, he's dope. Yeah, he's dope. Like definitely. I don't, ha I don't have a problem with people mispronouncing my name. I sometimes I'm like I want to correct them, but sometimes I'm like you know what I'll let them I'll let them learn yeah. for themselves. Yeah, yeah. The name thing it's gonna change, and just it just makes me work harder. I'm like you know what I'm gonna work harder. So you hear my music everywhere, and you're like okay that is Khalid. Yeah, but the <laughs> thing is the one thing is though sometimes you should correct people who get your name wrong because yeah. when I, I got my first job right, right. and my name's Yinka yeah. and I let someone call me Bianca. And for three years, they, I, I never corrected him. And then he just <laughs> and called then he me kept calling you that. Bianca. And everyone be like, that's not, I'll just leave him. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I step up. I'm like, yeah, nah. I'm like, no, 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 that's not how you say it. <laughs> that's not how you say it. But yeah, that, that's definitely a reason why I probably should correct people a lot more <laughs> about my name. But they're going to hear your name a lot anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so Khalid, thank you for, for joining me on Capital Extra. We are going to get into your brand new one with Calvin Harris. Yeah. Can we give him a round of applause, please, oh, everybody? Thank you for having me.